everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today is Thursday, which means, yet again, it's time for another story video. Um, and as we last left our heroes, um, Claude and the gang, you know, they were, uh, <laughs> they were trapped inside this, uh, tower. Um, uh, my uh, buddy Shane's, uh, game is what we're playing right now. So, this one video is titled, as you may have guessed, Sidetracking Part 3. Alright. I awoke several minutes later to, oh yes, <laughs> so, yes, where we last left off, Claude, my character, had been petrified by a basilisk, and well, let's see what happens. I awoke several minutes later to find the basilisk dead, and Belgarath had been turned to stone as well. So basically what had happened was, I had this plan, I'm like, I got a good fortitude save, let's just rush in headlong, and that didn't go so well. Uh, I ended up failing my first fortitude save, being turned to stone instantly, and that was the end of that. Um, luckily, um, the other members of the group uh, did succeed on that fortitude save, but they saw what happened to me, and they were like, uh, let's not do that plan. Let's be a little smarter about this. So... Dorthin uh, started using, like, he had, I think he had a mirror, or he used, like, the hilt of his sword to see what he was doing. Um, they used a lot of tricks to figure this out and make it so that they could avoid it. I think, like, they closed their eyes and stuff, like, they were fighting blind, which Dorthin wasn't too bad at. So, basically, that's how they decided to deal with that basilisk. Uh, you know, Claudius is out cold. Claudius, he's petrified this whole time. He can't see what's going on. He finally comes to, because uh, there was... Uh, the group had some anti-petrification stuff, but they only had enough for one. Uh, so Belgarath ended up, uh, <laughs> she ended up stuck, uh, he ended up stuck as stone. Um, so my buddy Joe, he ended up just playing his cohort for a little while. Instead, uh, a fighter named uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny Johnson, I believe. So he was playing as her uh, for a little bit instead, and she got pretty strong, um, actually. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, Dorth, uh, they revived me because, well, I'm the cleric. I, they kind of needed me. So let's get to this. Uh, we pondered a way to move him, but were unable. So Belgarath, we, we couldn't revive him. We only had enough to revive me, like I said. So Belgarath were like, well, uh, let's take him with us. But he was too heavy. That, that stone, we, we just weren't strong enough. So we just... Uh, yeah, we just sort of left him, uh, no, uh, let's see, I learned that it was Boss who used the scroll to save me from my petrification. Um, so Boss, the, uh, uh, NPC for this particular dungeon, um, he, uh, well, he, he had saved me from petrification, but he only had enough for one. Uh, let's see, after this I felt a great deal of appreciation for this. And began not to, uh, and began to not only trust him, but defend him as well. So, this changed my whole perspective on this boss character because you know I, I hate rogues. This guy was like really iffy on, but after he saved me, I felt a lot better about him. Um, I mean, he saved my life, kind of. So yeah, Belgrath, I think we just left him there. Uh, we continued on and fought several more battles, including a Hydra. Uh, and a dragon zombie. So we had all these battles. There's this Hydra battle, which honestly the Hydra uh, didn't go so well the first time around. We The first time around we go and fight this thing and it's like party wipe. So we restarted that sucker. So that didn't count. Uh, but we ended up uh, fighting the Hydra. He ended up giving us another shot at the Hydra and we managed to beat him that time. Uh, so yeah, we beat the Hydra um, and uh, then we had a dragon zombie, which uh, I did some major stuff because, you know, he was a zombie, so my cleric abilities were very useful on that. Uh, the zombie I mopped the floor with, by the way, so, yeah, like they say, uh, clerics only against undead. Uh, uh, after this, we went, up and, uh, we went up and ended up in a hedge maze. So after that, we're all of a sudden, we're in a hedge maze, and we're trying to figure out where we're at. So that was kind of cool. Um, we attempted to cut the hedges, but they grew back immediately. Uh, I happened to have a pen and paper on me, uh, which we used to make a map of the maze for navigation purposes. So basically, uh, Claude, I actually was somewhat prepared for once. Uh, 
and I actually happened to have a pen and paper, so we made a map and we were able to navigate the maze that way because we couldn't cut it or anything like that. We had to do it the hard way. Let's see. Uh, I led us around the mages to uh, the maze to make sure to cover all of it, but after a few battles, we grew tired from the uh, minotaur attacks, and I led us straight for the exit. So basically, I was curious, and I'm like, I want to see what's in this maze. I want to map out every corner. Like I figured out the way out uh, fairly early, but I wanted to see, you know, uh, how everything was laid out. So I kind of explored a little and uh, led the group that way. But after a while, those because min minotaurs just kept jumping out at us and it was wearing us down. So I'm like, you know what? Time to stop. We need to just head for the exit because um, you know we'd already fought that hydra, the dragon zombie. I'm running out of spells here. Because frick, we fought a lot of stuff, and I, you know, I only got so many spells per day. We haven't rested at all, so yeah, this is brutal. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, after making it through, uh, we discovered a rest house uh, with a genie. Uh, so we just happened to fall, uh, stumble upon just a place where we could rest up, and there was a genie in there. So that was pretty cool. Uh, he granted us one wish, and uh, we wished for the return of Belgrath in full health, unpetrified, and teleported to us. Uh, so basically we were like, hey, uh, we want Belgrath to come back, full health, uh, unpetrified, right back to us. So we want him like, we want Belgrath back. And you know, meanwhile, my buddy Joe's been playing uh, uh, the fight, his fighter, uh, it, uh, Jenny Johnson, and she's been just owning. She actually managed to level up a couple of times and bring herself like up to the same level as uh, Belgarath. So now they're like, he's got a cohort that's the same level as him, which they're actually a few levels weaker than the rest of us because he started late, but that's still pretty cool. Uh, and the, he's like a tri-class, so yeah. Uh, she's also a uh, human fighter, I believe, just like uh, uh, just like Dorthman. Let's see. Uh, after resting up, we headed out ready for battle. So we got rested up. I got all my spells back. We're all fully healed. We're all good to go. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I was almost out of spells. We were all fully healed, but, like, I'm almost out of spells. This is not good. So, but now we're good because we got we rested up. The genie got a spell graph back. We're 100%. We're rocking. We're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, we're ready to do this. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see what happens next, definitely come back next week uh, to see. Because, uh, well, that's going to have to wait till next week, unless you're watching in the future. Then you can just uh, watch the next video in the playlist. Uh, but, yeah, so I uh, guess that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it with your friends. Uh, probably uh, share the whole playlist so they can see the whole thing. That would be pretty cool kind of weird to start in the middle um, also uh, if you uh, have anything you want to say about it I'm curious to know what you think about these videos uh, what you think about my story uh, so leave that in the comments below if you got anything to say and if you haven't already consider subscribing because uh, well we got one of these every Thursday and you don't want to miss out on that uh, plus we have videos about me every Wednesday uh, two Dungeons and Dragons videos every Friday uh, one about description, uh, where I do description videos, talk in detail about class race or uh, prestige class, and then the second one where I actually take requests from you guys to see uh, uh, what you guys want to do, uh, what, what you guys want to know about D&D. Also, on Saturday, we have Naruto character reviews. Sunday, we are now doing Pokemon videos, and, uh, well, uh, Monday, we are doing videos as well, so definitely check out all of that. But anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.